The sequel to 2011's Homefront is almost here, so in this video, we're gonna take a look at 10 things you need to know about Homefront The Revolution. Let's get right into this. Number 1. Homefront The Revolution is set in 2029, two years after the events of Homefront and four years into the invasion of the United States by the Greater Korean Republic. The GKR has lost the western states, which also include Hawaii and Alaska, to the Americans following the Battle of San Francisco. However, the GKR has shifted their control to invade and capture many of the eastern states, with Philadelphia becoming their central base. In the city, a second rebellion is brewing and the resistance grows stronger, being led by Dana, the resistance leader and the youngest member of the resistance, the main character, Ethan Brady. The story follows Ethan and the new resistance as they attempt to retake Philadelphia. Shit, Dana. We got a patrol. They must have switched routes overnight. They got any ideas? Okay. Number 2. As opposed to the original Homefront, Homefront The Revolution will be an open world type game with many different areas to explore. Number 3. The game world of Philadelphia is split into three districts. First is the Green Zone, which is the affluent area where at the center of the city the KPA is at its strongest. They are also where the invaders are at their most comfortable. They have running water, a stable power supply, and their fortifications make Green Zones one of the safest places in the city. The second district is the Yellow Zone, which is the ghetto area most of the population lives. Patrols happen frequently and it's very difficult for the rebels to navigate it. The city streets are filled with patrols, scanner drones, and cameras. Finally is the Red Zone, which is the bombed out suburban area of Philadelphia that is full of ruins and rubble. This is also where the resistance is at its strongest. While the KPA presence is still heavy, players will run into resistance troop, weapon caches, and traps set up to take out enemy patrols. It is the Forbidden Zone, so if the KPA catches anyone out there, they will shoot on site and call backup. Number 4. Unlike the first Homefront, which features a competitive multiplayer mode, the Revolution features a 4-player cooperative multiplayer mode. This mode is known as the Resistance mode, and it's separate from the main campaign and has its own characters, progression, classes, and perks. Dambuster Studios, the developers behind the game, also promise that this mode will have a difficulty level that is similar to the Dark Souls games. Number 5. A new feature introduced is the enhanced ability to modify weapons such as adding a foregrip or sight in the middle of a firefight, or to convert a rifle to a light machine gun, and vice versa. Number 6. The player will have to scavenge parts from buildings and stashes to create and modify weapons and equipment. The KPA's weapons are all fingerprint locked and as such they will have a sizable advantage over the resistance. Number 7. The game will include side missions where the player will be called off to carry out tasks like assassinating a high-ranking KPA general or steal a KPA drone. Number 8. All post-release content for Homefront The Revolution's cooperative resistance mode including new missions, challenges, features, and additional items and equipment will be delivered free as a part of Dambuster Studio's commitment to supporting this mode for 12 months. Number 9. Dambuster Studio believes the core single-player storyline should provide about 20 hours of gameplay and confirms that it can be extended by completing the various side missions. Examples of these side missions include establishing bases and safe houses and recruiting new freedom fighters for the cause. Number 10. The game is set to be released on May 17th in North America and May 20th in Europe for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. So that wraps up 10 things you need to know about Homefront The Revolution. What do you think? Will you be picking up this game or is this one that you're going to pass on? Let us know in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye.